Well, it's happened again. Another Prince William County family woke up, found a bullet hole in their home. This now becomes the 19th time that somebody has fired into a home in that county just this year. Q McCray shows us the most recent scene and how police are responding to this one. So it's hard to tell here with all the bushes and everything. We caught up with Lamont McKenzie looking over his home for bullet holes. His neighbor's house on Perennial near Hastings and Peachwood in Manassas was hit over the weekend. McKenzie was out of town and had no idea until we told him. I mean, we hear about these things in the inner cities and you just don't expect that to happen out here. Prince William County Police tell us shootings into homes like this are common. As a matter of fact, we've shown you several other such cases in the past, but the latest shooting marks the 19th in the county already this year. If it continues, you know, people are going to start losing their lives and children are going to get wind up getting hurt. No one was hurt in the latest case. The homeowners found the bullet lodged in a wall. Police call the shooting random. They also do not believe the 19 cases are related because they're scattered all over the county. McKenzie still has his worries. I still don't know what to say at this point. No, I got you. you know, something has to be done. The authorities have to step up their game and get to the bottom of this. You know, the police can't be everywhere, um, and we're not. We rely heavily on our, our community to have those additional eyes and ears in, in the neighborhoods to, to report to us. Bottom line here, if detectives are going to get to the bottom of this mess, they're going to need your help. So if you know anything about the shootings happening in this county, go ahead and contact the Prince William County Police Department. You can remain anonymous. You do not have to tell them who you are. In Woodbridge, I'm Q McRae. Back to you in the studio. All right, Q, thank you. Well, in just 30 seconds, a jewelry store took a substantial hit from thieves. Now, though, we can see it happening. Take a look at these pictures. It shows the thieves ramming a stolen Mercedes right into the jewelry exchange store in Bethesda. Then they smash out the cases. They swipe watches and make a run for it. The feeling is that they had come into the store at an earlier point, cased the store, they immediately, upon coming out of the car, went to the watches and ran. So despite the brazen burglary, the thieves apparently only got away with about 10 watches, leaving much more valuable items untouched. Hmm. Right, let's talk about the weather situation. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, yeah. dreary and kind of cloudy. Today, perfect. Gorgeous day outside. And 24 hours from now, we'll revert <laughs> back to that, that dreary side. But you know, we need the water. We need the rain sure. around here, but we just don't need three or four or right. five inches over a 24 hour period of time. So and we're going to get have, that. We could see some of that, okay. especially west of DC. A new mm -hmm. updated map for you coming up in just a moment. Outside we go at this hour. It is beautiful out there. If you can uh, sneak out for dinner, barbecue. It's going to be a beautiful evening. The baseball game starts a little bit past seven o'clock. I would take advantage of this nice weather while you can. 76 degrees at Reagan National Airport as we head through this five o'clock hour. It's 79 in Leesburg, 77 in Winchester, upper 70s in Luray and Charlottesville. Right now, Fredericksburg reporting in at uh, Fredericksburg looking at 70 degrees. This evening, dining outdoors, 76 o'clock hour. The sun will set at just before six o'clock or seven o'clock. We'll see the upper 60s, 7 p.m. by 8 o'clock, dropping down into the middle 60s. Our Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar, it is dry out there right now, but I promise you by this time tomorrow night, it's going to be a much different looking picture out there. 52 to 64 for an overnight low, the coolest temperatures, northern and western suburbs, northern Montgomery County into Frederick County. As you head inside the Capitol Beltway, just around 63, 64 degrees. Clouds will be on the increase. This is going to happen late tonight after midnight through the early morning hours hours tomorrow, but it will stay dry. Forecast waking up tomorrow morning, a light jacket. You'll need one upper 50s in College Park, Bethesda just around 60 degrees, Woodbridge at just around 61. Here's our future cast from Stormwatch 7. We're going to set this at 1:30 tonight, and then we're going to move through the early morning hours tomorrow through the rush hour commute. It looks fine, just mostly cloudy skies, a few scattered showers, mainly to the south and west of DC. But as you move through those midday hours, uh, outdoor recess should be okay around the DC Metro. Once again, further south and west you go. That's where we're looking at the showers and then areas of heavier rain may develop northern Montgomery County, southern Frederick County for the rush hour commute 
home tomorrow night and then tomorrow night into the day on Thursday. That's when we expect the heaviest rain to overspread our area. Five o'clock for that rush hour commute home on Thursday will be a wet one again. May see a few embedded thunderstorms. Some of these storms may have the potential to become strong. So of course, stay with ABC 7. We'll keep you updated and of course WJLA.com. How much rain are we expecting by the noontime hour on Thursday? Could be looking at already two and a half inches of rain inside the beltway. More rain, heavier amounts just off toward the west of us. And by the time the system moves on out of here, some locations may be looking at anywhere between three to five inches. And notice Luray. This could be the jackpot area. Keep in mind the jackpot may slide a little bit further toward the east, a little bit further toward the west. The further west this goes, that means lighter amounts for the metro area. Always a fantastic time to download your Stormwatch 7 weather app. It is free. It's easy to use. You can not only track the showers, the areas of rain with radar, but you'll also get the latest watches and warnings in your area. And I'm likely to see or we're likely to see flood warnings across the area come late tomorrow night and into